Guys, it's Wix here back from the video, and today we're going to be looking at one of the most confusing and rare sets in Sea of Thieves history. This, of course, being the Obsidian set. Now, there's many ways you can obtain this, so we're going to go through this. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Coming right into things, we're going to start right where Sea of Thieves started, and this was the Black Dog set. Again, there's multiple names for this, but for right now, it's the Black Dog set. And basically, you would have to pre-order the game. With this, you would unlock all the clothing, including the belt, boots, literally anything that's clothing you are going to get in the set. You also would unlock would be the Black Dog instruments. This would be the Concertina, I believe I'm saying that right, and also the Hurdy Gurdy. And finally, wrapping up the Black Dog set, you would unlock the sword. Now, what about the rest of the set? People obviously had certain parts and they wanted the rest. Well, you see, this is where it got super confusing because different items would be unlocked via Twitch drops or different brand deals. When Sea of Thieves really wanted to spike their player base, they turned to cookies. That's right, cookies, chips ahoy to be exact. And what they did is they decided, hey, this set, it's incomplete, people want it, let's do it. So what they did is they partnered with Chips Ahoy, like I said. And in this bundle, you could unlock the compass, shovel, bucket, and mug. Going out of order here, I want to make this make the most sense. So basically what Sea of Thieves did is they released the Obsidian ship set. So what they did, via Twitch drops, you could unlock every single part of the ship set except for the capstan. And basically what they did to unlock the capstan, they actually ran a tournament back in the day. And this can still be given out via uh, Twitch drops by Twitch streamers, but you can still unlock this to this day. Um, it is still very rare. Like I said, there was once a tournament that people had to win it, but now it can be given out. So it's really not really like a sweaty thing but people still want to get this. But yeah, the whole ship set is pretty much given out via Twitch drops. The rarest part is going to be the cap stand. So if you see this, it's a little bit more harder to get, be a little bit more feared, but just a cosmetic item, who necessarily cares? And like I said, staying on path, we're going to get into the Obsidian six pack. Now this is very sought after. I think on eBay, this can go for a solid like 100 to $600. People go crazy for this. And basically what this is, is it's another form of Twitch drop. I believe every single month, um, see if these partners, they... You know, I'm not sure on the exact number. I don't really think they like to say, but I, I, if I had to take an educated guess, I would say it's anywhere from like five to ten six pack codes. And with this, they can give these out throughout the month. And every single month, um, they sort of redo it and they get more. And basically, if you win this, it's going to get added to your account at the end of the month, and <clears throat> you have the Obsidian six pack. Now, there's this picture on screen. I don't need to show everything that's in this um, or list it off to be exact. But I will talk about the sniper. This is very sought after, a very good weapon, and something that I don't have. I really want it. But yeah. If you have this item you have something that's super rare and something that's worth a pretty penny moving into another promotion item more of like a sea of thieves thing so you can't really call it promotion but it's going to be the obsidian banjo basically to get this it was super easy you just had to head over to the sea of thieves store during a certain amount of time and you could unlock this um you just had to buy um a, a piece of clothing a lot of people didn't want this honestly the sea of thieves clothing it's kind of an l you know i love the game but come on rare step up your drip you know what i'm saying um but yeah very average most people just bought this for the banjo and then finally getting into the last part of this set, this is going to be the fishing rod. Again, this is just a Twitch drop, 30 minutes watching a streamer. I'm sure this will come back, including a lot of the other Twitch drops. So like I said, just stay tuned. You know, you'll probably get this. Not the most sought after thing. I use it. I like it. I'm a fan of it. I like the black. And like I said, you'll probably get this. So no need to panic. And then capping off the Twitch drops, you are going to unlock the pistol. I have this. This is one of the best pistols in the game just because of the little point. A lot of people use this. It's the same thing as like the Silver Blade and Aristocrat. A lot of people like this. Great pistol. Like I said, you'll probably get it, so don't freak out. And lastly, probably honestly the rarest thing of this set is going to be the Midnight Blunderbuss, a.k.a. the Obsidian Blunderbuss. This was given out at TwitchCon, and it, this was super, super sought after. Obviously, you're not going to get this. Um, it could come back via Twitch drops. I highly doubt it. And then also there was another way you could get this. A lot of these also have second alternatives i'm just kind of talking about the main way another way you get this there was a hard drive you could purchase back in the day a lot of people don't have this it was expensive if you have this you are definitely you know you're sitting strong with this and it'll probably stay rare and now for kind of the main point of the video, what exactly does the Obsidian set do for Sea of Thieves? For me, I absolutely love this. I think it's great for the game. Obviously, yes, it's a little confusing and, and honestly something that's iconic in the game. It shouldn't be this confusing, but I like it. I like how if something this rare, it has very rare stuff, has stuff that's not quite too rare, but it can get rare. I absolutely love the fact that they're doing this for Twitch drops. I also, I'm kind of hypocritical because I also like stuff being rare, so I kind of like how they're adding new sets to it, but honestly, this is really good job by Rare. Um, I think this is awesome. Like I said, all the, you know, one point all the twitch drops were obsidian now it's kind of confusing um and i don't think the sets that have been released after that will ever be as cool as the obsidian that's why this really just holds that um that standard but everything else i think rare really did a good job here and i really hope they keep it up obviously keep it rare keep it coming back i don't know it's super weird but one of my favorite sets in the game and with that that is going to be the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching obviously the obsidian set longer video i apologize there's a lot to touch base on but yeah 
95% of you guys are not subscribed. If we could just change that a little bit, it would mean the world to me. Thank you guys very much. Take it easy. Peace.